We're going to go over the unwinding protocol. It's a key part of the unified field process using the scalar wave laser. To start with, uh, here's the scalar wave laser. We're going to set it on the unwinding mode, which is a very nice mode for unwinding stress and tension. And the first place we use it for the unwinding protocol is on the adrenal glands. I tend to go a little bit high. The adrenals are actually right at the top of the kidneys. I'm going a little bit high in the very upper part of the adrenals. This is a key area. As I'm doing the unwinding protocol, the key aspect of this process is to unwind the whole body into the unified field. We're unwinding the key facets. Particularly, we're going to start with the adrenal glands, and the next place we're going to go to is the sacrum area, the tailbone. As I'm doing this process, I'm always watching the person I'm working with. I'm watching to see that their body is breathing fully, is unwinding. I call this the decompression breath, where the body is actually, it breathes, it sighs. You can tell very easily if someone is relaxing or if they're not. The protocol is not a linear process. It's sort of a, a, a circular process, and we're, we're, we're tuning into the body and the person we're working with to make certain that we are unwinding and their body is responding by that unwinding. My feeling is that healing and rejuvenation are based on releasing stress and tension and returning to the natural equipoise state of ease of the universe. And as a result of that, we're going to go over here to, this, to the other side. We've done a lot with Lily, so she's already fairly unwound. As I put it on the other side of the adrenal, I immediately see her body start to open up, and expand, that tells me that we're doing exactly what we want to be doing. When the body, you can try in your, own, in your own experience, if you take a big breath in, as the breath comes out, that's unwinding. The body goes neutral and as a result, cell memory starts to dissolve and open up. That's what we're doing here. Usually when I unwind an area, I'll work for 5, 10, 15 minutes. At a certain point, the body will sort of open up and enter into this neutral state. When it enters into that neutral state, suddenly they've shifted and they're in this quantum relativity. That's where, that indicates to me that we're ready to move on to the next area. So we're going to move on to the base of the, of, the, of the spine, the sacrum. When the cranial sacral rhythm moves, it moves between the sacrum and the sphenoid in the cranium. The sphenoid is a butterfly shape. It's an amazing area of the body right inside the cranium, and it moves very gently. Uh, there's been debate, well, the, the Western model doesn't even recognize the cranial sacral system, that there is this actual pumping mechanism. The osteopaths and other folks aren't quite sure where that's coming from. My view is that's the universe going inward and outward. Same as the waves, same as all of the, the, the flux that happens in the universal experience, it happens through our field. In fact, all cells, all nervouses are connected to the universe vis-a-vis -vis this waveform. In this dimension, the polarity of that wave moves in the, in the rhythm. In the next higher dimensional relativity of the unified field, that unifies and moves us into a quantum state of relativity. There's no longer that polarity. We've shifted. That's the goal of this process. By doing it on the very bottom of the sacrum tailbone area, we're allowing the sacrum. A lot of people's sacrums are tight and tucked under. What we want to do is allow that sacrum to gently unwind and open up. As it unwinds and opens up, it relaxes the entire central nervous system. Two parts to the nervous system, sympathetic and parasympathetic. Our goal here is to unwind the sympathetic. People in our society are overloaded in the sympathetic nervous system. Yogis, mystics, they're opened up in the parasympathetic. They're not in stress, tension. They're in universal connection, love, and bliss, and in a really nice state of consciousness. When we sleep, that's our parasympathetic nervous system opening up. When we do, are into health and wellness, we're opening up to the parasympathetic nervous system. The next area we're going to go to after the sacrum is up on the back, on the back of the occipital ridge area. This is a key area because the vagus nerve comes out from this area. A lot of people are constantly contracted in this area, and as a result, a lot of chiropractors, osteopaths work, work this area a lot. When you relax this area, it opens the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the wandering nerve. It pretty much addresses everything that your body does that you're not aware of. Breathing, digestion, peristalsis, organ functions, all governed by the vagus nerve. When you're stressed and tense, the vagus nerve shuts down. When you're relaxed and you're at ease, the vagus nerve opens and flows and allows the orchestra of the body to rejuvenate and, and do its, its amazing dance and, and progression with the universal energy flowing through the body. So that's what we're doing. We're unwinding these key facets of the, of the uh, subtle anatomy to allow the body to be relaxed and at ease. Now we've moved the laser up to the occipital ridge area, right at the base of the cranium. This is a key area for a number of reasons. 
particularly we're opening up the vagus nerve. Opening up the occipital ridge also opens up the whole cranium. It also opens up the hypothalamus. Remember, the hypothalamus is supposed to, it's designed to govern the endocrine system. A lot of people in our society, the adrenals, have co-opted that authority, and so they're trying to run it, but they're not designed to run it, so it creates stress, tension, and dis-ease. We're unwinding the adrenals, we're unwinding the sacrum. Unless the sacrum's unwind, my approach to working on injuries and whatever is if you simply work on injuries, you're temporarily fixing the situation. But unless you address the condition of the central nervous system and the endocrine system, which governs the cranial sacral system and the nervous system, the body is going to remain stressed and tense and holding cell memory. So we're going for the essential unwinding principle of the nervous system and the endocrine system and the whole cellular field. That way, injuries, you don't even necessarily need to work on the injuries because if someone's relaxed and at ease, the energy from the universe will regenerate the injuries on its own. So it's really a revolutionary approach to using laser. That's a whole field, body, system approach to using lasers. We're now up here, and this is so important in people because a lot of people in our society hold tension in the TMJ and up in the cranium. That's what keeps people in their heads. A, a big facet to this is the fact that a lot of people didn't, either didn't breastfeed or they didn't breastfeed very much. Breastfeeding is, is really essential. When a young infant breastfeeds, the TMJ, it pulls the TMJ, the sucking action, pulls the TMJ forward and down, which relaxes, opens up the occipital ridge area and the vagus nerve opens up. So a little being is bouncing around, they bump into something, they cry, they then breastfeed and what happens? They relax, they shift from sympathetic into parasympathetic. Mother's milk is also very high in oxytocin, which activates the hypothalamus to go into the parasympathetic state. Oxytocin is great.